My name is Ron Molden, and 27 years ago, I lost a son who was shot and killed on the 14th floor of the University of Indiana Graduate Dormitory. A very odd place uh, for this to occur. Uh, a girl on the floor that Stephen knew was being harassed by an old boyfriend who was a graduate student at Stanford. Uh, so one evening, Steve was studying and he heard a shot and he ran out, out, uh, ran out in the hall and down the hall and saw this guy standing there and he tackled him. Uh, he got him down on the floor and a floor monitor uh, <coughs> told him to let the guy go, which he did. The guy stood up, reached in, a in his backpack, pulled out a Luger and shot Stephen, who fell to the floor, and then shot the girl five or six times. Um, the guy had his uh, glasses broken when Stephen talked, uh, tackled him. He ran downstairs and uh, uh, once outside on the lawn, he shot himself. So just in one single event, three graduate students are dead. It didn't make any sense. The, the guy that shot Stephen was a German foreign student and did not have a social security number and should never have been able to purchase a gun. Yet his car was practically an arsenal with guns and uh, ammunition and the thought that he or the police thought that he had planned to go after uh, the girl's family anyway long story short three people dead uh, Stephen was 22 almost 23 years old he was the author of a short story that appeared in a collection called Flash Fiction. And the authors, he was included with authors like John Updike, uh, Margaret Atwood, and Raymond Carver. He also was a, a very good student of the Old Testament, even though he was an atheist. He loved the study of the Old Testament as literature. So a very unique person was lost. Had Stephen lived in any other advanced nation, he would still be alive. Uh, the purpose of government is to protect its people. And that isn't being done in the United States. A universal background check would have caught this guy would have kept him from buying a gun. And 90% of Americans want a background check. Over 60% over of NRA members, and we still can't get that done. Uh, but anyway, it's a very, it's a weakness of our government. And uh, it's something that that should be brought to a halt as quickly as possible. Thank you.